Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today I'm going to ask and hopefully answer the question, what is a thriller? So this is a question I've been pondering myself for a while. When I think of the term thriller, I think of the books I associated with that term from when I was first starting to get into adult books. So something like this. So this is A Kind of Traitor by John le Carre, a, a spy novel. So when you think of, you know, like the Bond novels, when you think of people like Tom Clancy or Clive Cussler, that kind of action-adventure style of novel, as well as espionage novels, that's what I think of from my childhood of, you know, books I thought of as being a thriller. I think more recently the term, the use of the term has changed and it's more things like this. So this is Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn, a kind of domestic suspense type of novel. So this is what I think of, you know, I think I think most people today think of when they talk about a thriller. They think about that, that kind of book that is often, you know, centres around um, a woman who's got some weird stuff going on in her life. Um, you don't know what the outcome of the book is going to be. You know, there's a bit of danger, there's a bit of peril, there's, a, you know, there's, there's things for the woman to work through. Often with a, um, you know, like a central concept at the start of the book that immediately hooks you. So in this case, you know... Th- the, the disappearance of a woman at the start of the book. That's how I think most people think of thrillers nowadays. Now, the, the fact of the matter is both both these things are thrillers. And what that means is that thriller as a term is a really broad term. There are loads of different books that you can call thrillers. So I thought it was worth thinking about exactly you know what we mean by a thriller. And for me, the term thriller means a book whose main purpose is to thrill you. A main a, a book whose main purpose is to put you into a state of heightened suspense and keep you gripped, you know, throughout the duration of the book. And when you think about the difference, and I've talked about this in a, in a video before, the difference between thrillers and mysteries. Mysteries, I think, are books where you want to know what has happened. You get presented with, you know, some some terrible thing that's happened at the start of the book, and the rest of the book is is the detective or whatever character trying to work out what happened in the past to explain the situation that you're presented with at the start of the book. A thriller is kind of the opposite of that. A thriller is a book where the story evolves throughout the book, and you constantly want to find out what happens next. So characters are, you know, put into perilous situations or whatever, and you as the reader are, are dragged through that story, desperate to know how things are going to turn out, will the characters survive, so on and so forth. So kind of the, the flip side of a mystery. Now, obviously, mysteries can have thriller elements to them. So if you think about, you know, the kind of style of mystery where you you start with a body being found, um, the detective, um, you know, investigates that, but then another character comes, you know, comes to be at peril from the person who's committed the initial crime. So you can have books that, that combine mystery and, you know, mystery and thriller elements, but I do think of them as two quite separate things, really. Um, so where you've got this, you know, but that, that description fits both of these books and, and many other books. So where you've got this, you know, really broad, broad church in terms of what can be a thriller, I was thinking that in some ways it's easier to define a thriller by what it's not. So so a thriller is a book that, that puts you into a state of heightened suspense, but there are other types of books that do that as well. So a horror novel could well do that. Um, But I think the main purpose of a horror novel is not to thrill you. The main purpose of a horror novel should be to horrify you, Um, you know, to to scare you, to terrify you or or whatever. So horror, slightly different. Mystery, as I've already said, is slightly different. Now, similarly, a science fiction novel, you know, science fiction novels are often very exciting, very tense. But I think a science fiction novel's primary purpose should be one of imagination. So it should be, you know, describing new worlds uh, to, to you know taking ideas um for like uh, taking ideas that are around you know scientific advancements or something like that and just running with those ideas and thinking about the effects on society of, of you know advancements in science or or whatever and similarly a fantasy novel you know its main purpose is to again is it's like an act of imagination so it may be really really exciting but that's not what it's all about what it's all about is presenting a different world to you as the reader um 
and you know you can think of historical novels in in a similar vein there are a lot of historical adventure novels which are thrilling um but what their their main purpose is is to present a depiction of the past so they tell their story you know they 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 tell a story which may be a thrilling story but they tell it in the past and what they should really be focusing on what they tend to really focus on is that depiction of the past so giving you an understanding of what life was like in the past so thrillers to my mind tend to be set in contemporary times you know that's definitely true um of these two books so they should be set now or there or you know or, or, or nearly now and their main focus should be on thrilling the reader and i think that also distinguishes them from you know what you might call general general fiction or modern literature so when you think about you know literature and again there are many you know books which are considered classic works of literature which are thrilling but i think in a in in a, um, a you know a book we would classify as literature there is a greater balance between the different elements of the book so there will be you know strong characters a strong plot you know good prose good sense of place all of those things um and there may be thrilling elements to the story but everything is in kind of harmony whereas in a thriller what the writer should be focusing on is thrilling you um everything else is less important and i think that's true for you know genre fiction generally so you know in a horror book what the writer should be putting most of their effort into is horrifying you in a thriller book they should be putting most of their effort into thrilling you i don't care so much about the characters in a thriller what i want is that sense of being carried along by the story and thrilled and i've said that you know a lot of the the appeal of thrillers is about not knowing what's going to happen clearly that's true of any book and and you know any novel will um or any novel should have you in you know a state of of wanting to know what's going to happen next if it's if it's not doing that then it's probably a boring book and you should dnf it but a th- for a thriller that's its main focus is to to really grip you to to keep you in that state of not knowing what's going to happen to the to the characters so you want to keep reading in a you know in a more balanced book a, a, a kind of literary book a lot of that may be more about the interplay between characters and things like that rather than external events impacting the characters um so yeah there's that there's that greater sense of balance um but for me as i say a thriller's main purpose is to thrill and everything else should be subservient to that if a, if a if a writer is putting equal amounts of effort into other things um than thrilling you then i think the book ceases to become a thriller the pace slows down you you don't get that state of absolute heightened suspense anymore um and the book ceases to become a thriller and kind of becomes something else becomes general fiction or whatever so yes that's my that's my thoughts uh, somewhat rambly but my thoughts on what makes a thriller do let me know in the comments what you think let me know if you agree with me and let me know some of your favorite thrillers as well it's a, a style of book i wouldn't even call it a genre thrillers because you can have crime thrillers you know you can have adventure thrillers what have you it's more a style of book so yeah let me know some of your favorite thrillers in the comments as well anyway as always thank you very much for watching hope you're safe and well out there hope you're reading good stuff and i'll speak to you again very soon cheerio